Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. Hey. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the Bond Venue, BV-S01. It's an AM-FM micro-sized portable radio. I found this little gem for $6.99 on Amazon. What a deal, and it works. <laughs> you buy these $7 radios, and you're just not sure, uh, but this thing is fantastic, and we're going to go over it. So here's the package, Bond Venue, BVSO1, AM FM Pocket Radio. You can see it's right there in a blister pack. It reminds me of the Japanese packaging, you know, they do for their radios. AM FM Pocket Radio, again, their model number, accessory earphone. So you get an earphone in there. Along with $6.99, you get a radio and an earphone. Love it. Back here, we have some bullet points. We got the POW LED. All right. <laughs> FM antenna. Uh, it is a mono radio, so there's uh, SFM mono, both ears, no stereo, but it's unfortunate, but it works well. We'll talk about that. Uh, onboard speaker, the headphones that are included, frequency range, it says 540 on, and 1710 on AM, and FM it says 88 to 108. Uh, speaker, 40 millimeter, I measured it about, was it an inch, inch and a quarter. Uh, here's your three and a half inch stereo jack, talks about, it runs on two AAA batteries. There's some millimeter sizes. And uh, that's about it there. Oh, yeah, down here, battery life. So it looks like they're saying 22 hours. I guess that's about right on AM and FM. And, of course, you're going to get almost double that on headphones. So there you are separately. you got to buy the battery separately. Okay. And it says right up here, user instructions enclosed. <laughs> Please carefully read the user instructions before using. Okay, you don't want to poke your eye out, I guess. All right, so let's open this up. It's a poster packed here, and I think there's this little capture thing on the back. Okay, made in China. Yep. Okay, here's the radio. I'm going to pop that out. Put that aside. This here has some stuff in it. Get a pair of headphones. Pull those out. I think our user manual is in here somewhere. Here we are. Okay, that's that. So let's set that aside. So let's go ahead and zoom on down. And see what we get. So we'll look at the instructions first. I haven't looked at these yet. <laughs> it's a, such a simple radio. I don't know why we have instructions. Um, doesn't seem like there's much to this. Oh wait, there's an extra page. All right, here it is. Um, shows you the two AAA batteries. Um, be careful with using mixed batteries, of course. Shows you all the different uh, features of the radio. Pretty simple. Again, you can do this with your eyes closed, but for those who want the manual, here it is. <laughs> shows you the uh, headphone jack. Okay, and it shows you about the FM. I'm going to talk about that too. A little bit about the FM and how that works. And then there's the life again with the batteries and more stats if you need to see that. Okay, great, we're done with that. All right, next we have the headphones and these are really cheap. Um, I didn't try them, um, probably don't use them. I mean, they're rattling. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. So uh, yeah, I probably won't use those. But you know, it's cool they threw them in there. Okay, here's the radio. Yeah, this is awesome. So let's go over dimensions real fast. Uh, two and a quarter inches. You guys know I love my micro size radios. Three and a half inches tall. And have a case depth of three quarters of an inch. And this reminds me of a baby Nia radio. Remember the Nia RD206SP? If you're not sure of that radio, uh, search it. and uh, Or maybe I'll link it. Uh, check it out. It's like similar shape. It has the same oval shape. Just bigger radio. It's pretty neat. It allows this radio to stand. Um, very stable, which I love. Such a small radio. It's awesome. Okay, so let's go size comparison. I brought some little radios out to compare it to, which you guys will like. Um, I got the Dajun DE333 right up front. Uh, I also have a bad one. I'm going to have to try another one of these. This radio outperforms this radio by far. I don't even, I wanted to re-review this radio because I really didn't review a good solid review on this one. But I just I can't get into it. It just doesn't work at all for me um, as far as tuning anything decent. So this one outperforms this. Now, again, it could be because I got a bad one, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you about that. And of course, next is the Kaimita. These are pretty similar as far as I think for reception. Um, they're both in the same price point, I believe. I think I got this for six or seven bucks. And yeah, maybe and some people got these for five, but I think they're up to six or seven dollars now. Uh, but you can see there, they're almost identical size. Give you an idea. It's actually this 
yeah, about the same. One thing I like about this Bon Venue is it's really low retractable antenna. Look how low that sits. Nice in the pocket there. I do like that. This thing's like fixed, sticking up like that. So uh, there's that. Okay. And then, of course, we have Iron Man. Give an idea for deck of cards. This thing is the size of a deck of cards. Just a little narrower, but the same height. About the same thickness. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Iron Man, he's the man. The master plane. All right. So let's talk about features of the Bon Venue BVS01. Love those model numbers. They don't really mean much. <laughs> uh, Left-hand side of the radio, we have a headphone jack. A really cool thing on a $6.99 radio is that it is like metal. A metal shrouded end here. That's great. <laughs> Did not expect that. Now, I know this Kaimita had that too. Let me see. It has metal. I think this D yeah, the Dajin has a plastic one. So yeah, you can see the differences there. I'm just going to show you. Um, headphone experience, very nice. Uh, FM had really nice lows. A little bit muffled, but decent for FM music listening. I really enjoyed it. You can actually get the volume down pretty low with a very low level hiss. Uh, very impressed. The medium wave sounded very good with nice mids. And again, you can get this very low um, on the volume and enjoyable. So yeah, this is a great headphone experience for $6.99. Bonus! <laughs> I love it. Okay, here we have a band select switch, AM, FM, and off. Okay, front of the radio, got the title there, Bond and U. We have a power LED indicator. I love having that on a small radio so you don't leave it on and wear the batteries out. Uh, here we have our FM scale. I love how it's dual windowed here. It's a little bit of a narrow window, but I've noticed this uh, indicator lines up fairly close to the stations, which is very good on FM and on the AM scale, which is a big shock. So FM, 88 to 108. We have a log scale. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, seeing that, I didn't see it in the Dajin, but the Kaimita has a log scale up on top there. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, so it's a nice setup, and as I mentioned, AM, it says 540 to 1710. Here's our speaker, it said 40 millimeter. Um, it's a little on the tinny side, but, you know, it's usable, so well, you'll get to hear that. Uh, so, yeah, 40 millimeter, I don't know exactly what that measures out to. I'll put a little pop up here. I'm guessing uh, an inch and a quarter, that's what I measured with my ruler. FM and AM, two bands radio, yeah, rock on. <laughs> Um, here we have a little tiny tuning wheel. Now this thing tunes really smooth. Um, it's really easy and smooth. You got to go slow and easy though when you're tuning this radio. It's a DSP and yeah, DSP radios are finicky, but if you do it right, you can pull on some good stations. And I can with this radio. Just got to finesse that tuning wheel, um, but you'll, you'll hear quite a bit. Down here we have our volume, which I love. They recessed it. They have a nice little recess there, so you don't bump it in your pocket and turn it way up <laughs> while you're listening to it. It is a nice feature to have a recessed volume control. Back of the radio, we have some, looks like venting there. Well, it looks like fake venting, but here we have real venting. Bond venue, it gives the frequencies again, and it runs on two AAA batteries. And this company here, I can't pronounce it, but yeah, it's out of China for sure. Now, the cool thing is it has a battery compartment that has a hinged door. And again, for a $7 radio, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, two AAA batteries, uh, the top battery the positive is to the left, and the bottom battery the positive is to the right. So there you go. For those who need to know polarity and can't see it on my video. All right, so, oh, top of the radio, we have the antenna. Watch out. <laughs> it's about six and a half inches. Um, I'll be honest with you, we're going to talk about FM reception here. It did pretty good. So FM reception, um, on a little radio like this, I didn't expect much, but I actually got... 49 stations with this, with this little tiny antenna sitting up on my couch. Couldn't believe it. It took a little bit of moving around a bit, but it worked great. Uh, and this, when the station's locked in, they locked in really clear, and I really enjoyed it. So it gets an okay to good uh, rating, which is 2.5 star, which is right there in the middle with some of my best analog receivers. So that's pretty awesome. And then the FM selectivity was okay to good, because that's typically what it's rated when I find those amount of stations. You're going to have... Uh, the DSP kind of hides the fainter stations a bit because when you get a strong station, you'll notice that it steps more on the dial versus a, a fainter station. Uh, but it's interesting how that works. So let's go ahead and turn this on and listen to uh, a little bit of uh, Radio Totterbert. So we got her down one. See that right? FM. Power LED on. Volume up. Let's see if I can pick up Radio Totterbert. Is it playing? It should be. Just double check here. Turn my volume, and then we're going to try to tune this in. Now what I'm using is a C-Crane FM Transmitter 2 using an MP3 player uh, with YouTube 
uh, royalty-free music, so I can actually broadcast this video across all the countries out there, and it won't be flagged and blocked. So let's go ahead and try to find this. There we go. Let it run for a minute or two. volume control there which is nice let's go ahead and turn off my transmitter and my mp3 player okay cool so there it is a bond venue that's the audio a uh, little bit of check there you can listen to my other videos and kind of hear how they compare um yeah it's, it's not super loud i really have to tune in at the right i was trying to tune in the steps there to get it right on frequency to get the loudest uh gain i noticed it was a little tricky so but yeah it once you master this uh tuning you'll be rocking so yeah the fm's awesome so let's go ahead and switch to am now uh at night 
Last night there was a lot of storms, so I had a hard time getting distant stations, but I was getting like WHAS about 300 miles away, KMOX, which is another 300 miles away. I got Zoomer Radio with this radio, which is awesome. That's 460 miles away. I got WSB Atlanta, Georgia with this radio, which is 630 miles away. So to give you an idea, it can receive distant stations at night, even this little $7 radio. Uh, I just love it. So let's go ahead and do some daytime, because right now it is uh, 5.09 p.m. Central Daylight Savings Time near Chicago, Illinois. We're going to pick up daytime-only stations. I had fun with this today. I was picking up all kinds of my locals and semi-locals, and I was really impressed by what I found. I really had to go slow and easy, though. We'll see what we can find together here. We'll just kind of cruise the AM dial during the day, and we'll do our final thoughts. I'm sure you can guess what that is. <laughs> Let's get down to the AM band here. Let's go turn our volume back up. And we'll see what we can find. Buses constantly are packing up and moving, and we are really going to live Roma. We are going to eat Roma. We're going to drink. We're going to smell it. We're going to. Uh, this should be 560 WIND Chicago. Rome from the ancient times and the Rome of uh, St. Philip Neri and all the other saints. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it. It's November 4th through 13th. Our president, Chris Check, is going. I'm going. Uh, okay, it wasn't. That was uh, 88.5 FM. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't have it switched all the way down. What the? Okay, now I got it on AM. <laughs> Let's find some AM stations. Let's go back to the bottom. For a strong citizenry in charge of his own life and his own property. This is, seems to be the debate that not only we have to have in this corrupt socialist enclave called Illinois, but it is the one we are having in a national state. This seems to be the topic and I laugh as as I watch reporters on there and they tell it me sounds like WIND Chicago uh, 560 the answer in which Pritzker is balancing things now he know they know of course they're gonna have to raise taxes out there yeah the faint stations kind of you really gotta line it up oh, this is 580 I think WIL Urbana Illinois I don't expect it to lock in. This is 150 miles away in daytime. The real great adventures of me, Tom Terrific, with mighty Manfred the Wonder Dog. Sports is sponsored by Kowal Investment Group, the retirement specialist. So this is 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Marion Spitzner of Kowal Investment Group, the retirement specialist. We're excited to announce located on Highway 20 in Mount Pleasant. Now, the award-winning, retirement-focused financial planning... So, the fair antenna is definitely in a proper position because this is the way it should get better game. Most. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. Turn this up. Yeah, I, I know, but it's... <laughs> yeah, I was really mad at Joe for taking me out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Texter writes in, I'm nervous about the signing of Kimbrell like many fans. What you pointed out about his last time pitching playoffs last season scares me. Yeah, he had ERA around six for the postseason. This is um, another... 670 to score, WSCR, Chicago. About that. Home of the Cubs. The moral contract, it made sense. It, a two-year deal yeah. for a team like the Cubs doesn't crush you. Right. The contract's the... <laughs> You know, have to take such a hit compared to the buying power hit that people make in a quarter million or, or half or a million or whatever it is a year, right? Right. That's when it tunes, it almost feels like an analog tuning on the AM band there, if you heard that. Live their houses and things. 720 and the WGN. That they bring to the economy by providing other, by, by buying stuff in the economy is, you know, has its own... And having this here, uh, it's not as tinny as I thought. It's nice. No, it's not like some of those uh, smaller hung Ronda radios, like the, I think the 104 or the uh, 737. This has a little bit better tone to it. ...of Illinois, because business leaders, businesses, and rich people are going to somehow be able to get around this. You can't get around a flat, you know, four... So you can tell you got to really lock in. This is a little further away. This is Portage, Indiana. This is WNDZ, 7.50 a.m. 
para seguirse manteniendo, para llevar la comida a la casa, para pagar sus deudas, para seguir pagando sus impuestos. Mire, pues resulta que... Alice que es pretty close. Con la gente... Colorado, Rockies and Cubs. Live at Wrigley Field. Rick Gregg, just ready on 105.9 FM. And we're giving away Cubs tickets tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the Wolves are in action for their game. This is WBBM, Chicago, Illinois, 780. And no tennis at the French because of rain today. With sports at 15 and 45 at the home of the Bears, Jeff Joniak, News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. Sip in summer at Dunkin' with the Media Mice Coffee. You'll get full access to every show we produce, or you can sign up for a year of the Rick Unger Show and save 820 WCPT, Royal Springs, Illinois. Off the monthly price. Go to rickungershow.com, click on Premium Podcast. Music here on 850 WAIT, Crystal Lake, Illinois. CNN is now considered to be a leadership role of the American left. CNN has suffered double digit prime times ratings losses. Rush Limbaugh, go out of business. Level of audience. Thank you for keeping him in business. Weekdays 11 to 2 on 890 WL. There you go, they got the call letters, WLS Chicago, the high pitch whine coming from my camera. It's handling it a little differently, uh, but it, uh, so you heard that, and that's bad. Park, then you need to enter Team Hockberg's free mortgage payment sweepstakes. What is it meant to be? What is marriage meant to be? What are human beings meant to be? Right, so we have to find, uh, as it were, the team. This sounds like a, uh, Christian Station, I think it's 9.30 WBKM. I'm just going to turn on my Skywave here and I'll blast you guys away and I'll do a frequency here at 9.30. So it is. Barely picking it up. For what things were meant to be at their highest level. So if, if we take this typical retort garden for the season, hopefully you've done a lot of that already, some of you might just trust your gut. Others might look at hardiness zone maps to see what is planting time. Central Time producer Dean Canetter talked to which contact editor Will Cushman about what those maps are. How this is interesting. This is WHA Madison Wisconsin. Before we get into how these maps are drawn, Excellent. What do we mean when we talk about a hardiness zone? Right. So, and, and, and that's an important distinction because I think a lot of people do often get confused about what the USDA hardiness zones can tell us. And essentially, all they can tell us is. So it's really hard for me to try to finesse this on camera, <laughs> but I'm doing my best. Means and how the opponent has to think differently in the seventh and eighth inning when they're batting. If you have a guy like Kimbrel who's nine times out of ten going to lock. So this is a WMVP 1000 ESPN. This is Chicago, Illinois. It looks like the dial's pretty dead on. It surprised me a little bit that he did say one time, well, I still got to manage with the guys we have, but it did surprise me a little bit that he didn't... Odne z punktu widzenia historycznego, z punktu widzenia dalszego przebiegu II wojny światowej i losów ostatecznych, ostatecznego rozwiązania. Well, actually, this is, um, I think, 1070. This is a cool station. I want to see if it gets it. Let me just check here with my Skywave. You kind of know. Jimmy Nelson. It is. Sweet. So WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin, is such an awesome AM station in my area. I'm glad I can pick it up because uh, they run NASCAR on the weekends. WNWI Oakland on 1080. Music on WMBI Chicago, Illinois. 
15 service since 1946. Securities offered through Raymond James Financial Services. Member FINRA and SIPC. This is WISM, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 11.30. Kowal Investment Group is not a broker dealer. Call 260. How can I be useful to my colleagues? How can I anticipate a few steps ahead to what my boss might need? That's pretty good, huh? 11.60 to be YLL, Chicago, like Illinois. I'm curious. Christian Station. A lot of, like, church family language. And Squirrel should be this way. Sure. 11.80. There we go. We get it. It comes in clear, too. I love it. Uh, that was one thing I was happy about when I got this radio out. I was messing with it. So WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois, 1180. This squirrel. Yeah. WRTO, Chicago, 1200 AM. Here's the dial. See where we're at. I feel we're pretty accurate. This one's harder to get in. The second one, twelve twenty WKRS. This is also new because it was live, says former CBS radio general manager Michael Free. That was the first time. This is WCLO, James of Wisconsin. So we can pick up some music stations. Real plus minus is lost. I'll be honest with you, Jones. You consume a ton of radio. Yeah. Takže z různých rozdílů ne bez vaniami. Na tom jsou vážné věci, že bych abych. Ten says I'll stay big when I buy. I think that was 13:30 there with the uh, mixing stations. This is 13:40. The calp should be this way, 13:60. So this is the B BLK, sorry, LBK, BK Alabama, 1360. Here's our music, 13, uh, 1380 WBEL, South Boy, Illinois. Awesome. This is 1400 WRJN, so you can tell we're getting stations above 1400. That's going to cruise really quickly now. Just as Republicans express. Surprise to me, even, uh, what we end up talking about and how thematic it truly is. And taking a walk in history today, there's going to be some other things that, that we chat about. Okay, so that station before was 1590 WCGO. This is 1620. Hazardous Road. It'll be 1670, the Got us in Wisconsin, 1670. That last station. We have to tell people some horrible things sometimes. 1690, WBON, Chicago. Awesome. All right, let's go turn this off. Okay, let's do final thoughts on the Bon Venue. If I'm saying that right. <laughs> Uh, the BV-S01 AM FM microsized portable radio. You know, I like the small radios. They're so awesome. Um, for $6.99, it is a no-brainer. If you want a small pocket radio that takes a little two AAA batteries, run out and get one. Um, yeah, I really, it's one of those radios I'm really happy with. Um, I, I mean, it's tricky to tune, but hey, you heard all the stations coming in the day. I'll uh, imagine it at nighttime, if you take a little patience, you're going to find quite a few stations. The FM band's fantastic. You're going to love it with this little tiny antenna even. And uh, I bet you even clipped on a wire, this DSP could handle it. 
and uh, you'll be hearing everything. So definitely an awesome little pocket radio. By the way, the headphones do not act as the antenna when you plug them in. Um, I thought they did, but they didn't. So you still have to use the uh, retractable antenna when you're using headphones. Just something to think about. Um, and it kind of makes sense because they put the headphone jack here on the side, which isn't really pocket friendly unless you have a right angle plug. So something to think about. Uh, but yeah, loving this radio, $6.99, no brainer. Go out and get one. Use the links below. I'll have them for you guys. Um, if you want to support the channel, click the link. Um, and then I think I get like a quarter or something from the sale. And it doesn't come out of your pocket. It comes out of Amazon's pocket for me directing you there. And uh, you get a cool radio and you help out the channel at the same time. Awesome. So if you enjoyed the video of the Bond Venue BVS01 radio review, please give me a big like. You guys are awesome. Two, um, I don't know if I'll be able to find these cheap radios, but if I do, I'll review more of these. I love micro radios. I love finding them cheap like this, brand new. This is such an awesome thing. I um, hope you guys get a chance to get one of these. These are awesome. Three, comment below what you think about this little micro radio, something you want to add to your collection, or maybe hey, this will be your first little radio. Who knows? All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.